doing that. He caught me in the middle of chaos. My husband's on the phone. He's right here trying to eat garlic mess. Um, okay, I'm going to get right to it. And today, I have to work home quickly. I am making spaghetti squash boats for myself and my husband. I am making actually the star of the show. I just come on here so that he can show his skills. Okay, that's the inside of it. Everybody's <laughs> saying hi, Teddy. <laughs> they like your tracker. And then you just scoop out the guts. It's pretty easy. You can probably save these and grow more seeds. I haven't gotten there in life yet. And of course, you guys know the drill. Scoop it out. Throw it on the floor. You want to eat bread? Okay, I'll give you a piece in just a minute. i got to get this in the oven. Okay, there's one. Scoop out all this guts.
sprinkle um, garlic salt on the top. Somehow I feel better about that. I don't know. We're just going to grill these in the skillet, so that's going to go on medium heat as well. Somebody wrote me for hair earlier today. I left the check laying on the table and now his tractor is dragging it like it's the mower or whatever. <laughs> I'm constantly like this, that, this, that, this, that. Thank you. 
tractor and we'll see if it works. Okay, starting to go here and a little bit pain. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit and add the flour. You stir in the flour until it gets thick and nutty. So brown, nutty, things like that. I'll show you what it is. That's about four tablespoons of flour. But the exact recipe is up on my website. until it thickens a little bit and becomes the roux. If you guys are just joining, hi! I have the spaghetti squash already in. I have the sausage cut and cooking right here on medium heat. And then this is the water that I'm boiling for the pasta for the baby. I'm making the white sauce right here.
on medium heat, they're starting to brown a little bit. My pasta sauce water, pasta water is boiling, but I don't want to put those in just yet because you know how whenever you cook pasta too early and then it sits in the pan and it just like all sticks together? That's what I don't want. So usually when that happens, if I'm like super early on my pasta, then I will just rinse it, which I know is a huge no-no, but I, I rinse it, I'll admit it, and then, um, it doesn't stick together that way. white sauce heats back up, you want to make sure that you keep stirring it. Right about now is the time that I put in my seasonings, which I'm working with um, roasted garlic and herbs this time. Yeah. Sometimes I'll use like a Parmesan seasoning, which is also good. But it is dumb in <laughs> The actual recipe is on my website. And then I just do it to taste, so I'll taste it here in a minute and see how it tastes. But it's already a little bit thick because of that brew. So it's not going to take a whole lot of Parmesan cheese. Uh, cream cheese is going to go in next. And you just put it in there uh, and have it melt. So let's see what this does. Get this spread. No. I don't want time to fight with that. So, pop it in the microwave. I know, microwaves are bad, but they're also very, very good. Okay, these are starting to stick to the bottom of the pan, so I'm going to turn down the heat just a little bit. Butter. Now you just use your floppy thingy and put it on there. This also makes a great um, water paint for toddlers. You give them water and a piece of paper, they love it. I do both sides of the bread just because it tastes better that way. Not that I'm allowed to eat bread right now.
Okay, so once I have one side done, I just flip them over. Like that. I have to check back with my saucers here. That's starting to boil, which we don't want. So I'm going to turn the heat off and just let it melt the cream cheese. And then we'll assess the thickness after that to see if it needs some Parmesan or milk to make it thick or thin. Fresh garlic bread. Yes, I know. It's so good. What I do to help it melt is I just smush it with my whisk a little bit and then it melts a little bit faster. Excuse me one second while I yell at my husband upstairs. Hey babe. So that cheese is melted, the um, cream cheese. These guys are done as well, so I'm going to turn those off. Leave them on there to warm up. Um, I don't ever put in the Parmesan cheese at, uh, while the sauce is cooking because I did it one time, and it made this like gooey mess. So I just add it at the end while the, the flame is off. And so basically I just add it enough to make the consistency that I want. So I just need it a little bit thicker. So I dumped probably about a cup, cup and a half in. And of course it depends on how much sauce you're making as well. But if you want to follow an exact recipe, it's all on the website. Go to mychaos.com. Okay, this is done. We're going to put it in, but at first, of course, we have to add more cheese. So, this is mozzarella cheese, and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on the top. And what's nice about mozzarella cheese is it tells you whenever the bread is done. So whenever your mozzarella cheese um, starts to brown, that's how you know when it's done. I am going to put my pasta in for the kids who don't want spaghetti squash. 
but this is anal hair, so it's not going to take very long at all. I throw on the floor. <laughs> I would love to see it. <laughs> Cranberry sauce and said tomato. No, I haven't. That sounds good. See, you guys need to start making some videos. Okay, I gotta get back to this. I'm gonna keep this sauce stirred, but the flame is off. It's not on there anymore. A little bit of spaghetti here. This is off. Also, that's the only thing that's on. Okay, now I'm going to. I haven't decided what I want to do with my red sauce. Do I want to warm it up in the microwave or do I want to put it in the boat? Yay, he's back. I was just telling them how you went to the lake with a friend and how I hate that. He's back. I love having all my chicks at my house. <laughs> He doesn't, but I do. Um, all right, getting back to it. I'm going to do the garlic right now because I have a chance. Smushing it with my garlic smusher. I think that's the actual name of it, garlic smusher. Dutch meatballs. Mmm, that sounds good. You guys need to make some of this. Let me know and we'll collaborate and share recipes. I think that's all I'm going to do. I had six garlic cloves set out, but this I'm only doing one of the spaghetti squash boats with the white sauce. The other one's going to be red, so I think I'm only going to do three, three cloves of garlic. Guts on the floor. And this really is only for um, color, nutrients, uh, texture, things like that. It doesn't actually have to go in there if you don't like red pepper. But again, if you guys have heard me say it once and heard it a thousand times, color means nutrients. So we're going to add some to it. And force these people to be healthy that live with me. thinking about making a video, um, tell me if you would be interested in this, of the not so healthy carry. I actually had um, serious, serious mental issues um, about 10 years ago. I, my husband and I actually talked about um, sending me to a hospital for them, but I was able to cure myself with holistic remedies. That's why I eat whole food. That's why I use holistic remedies. So I can tell you how, what it used to be like, how I conquered it, things like that, if that's something that you would be interested in. Because I think that's 
something that a lot of people are dealing with right now is mental health and depression and anxiety, stuff like that. And I really, really, really honestly believe that if you can take care of your health better, you can beat things like that. <laughs> I know, me too. I can only count to 15, too. <laughs> Pass that. I don't know how to help you. <laughs> okay, I'm just getting out the strainer for the noodles because those are going to be done in a minute. Please? Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm going to check on the spaghetti squash because I'm getting a little nervous that it might be finished. It's been in there for 30 minutes. Ran out of spaces. All right, and how do you do spaghetti squash? Hopefully, you can see me right over there. Is you just flip it over and you fork it uh, apart like this, and it should make spaghetti style pieces. If it mushes, if it's mushy, it's gone too far. If it's too hard to scrape like this, it's not done enough. But this is what it looks like as it's cooking. See how it looks like spaghetti? And it has the texture of spaghetti too. It's not mushy at all. This needs probably about 10 more minutes. So I'm going to throw it back in. And again, the green onion is just for flair and nutrients. It doesn't necessarily have to go in your food. But the more colors, the better. Please turn the sound off on that, please. I'm going to go ahead and put my spaghetti sauce in the microwave for a little bit. Uh, probably about a minute and a half. Just to warm it up so it doesn't, I don't need cold spaghetti squash inside, cold sauce inside the hot spaghetti squash. Okay, that was a lot. Oh, I'm going to check this out real fast. Yes, exactly. We're going to eat like crap and think like crap. Yep. Oh, what's the question? What about the flavor? Karen, you said, what about the flavor? What was that in regards to? What kind of foot do I have? I have the All Pro foot, but I don't know what it's made of. I'm assuming titanium because it is waterproof, but I'm not 100% on that. I'll have to ask my prosthetist whenever I see him again in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So I didn't, I avoided spaghetti squash for a long time because I hate new food. If you're new to this channel, I hate new food. But this year, I'm trying, that's how hard it is, to branch out a little bit. So it took me quite a while to try spaghetti squash, and I really like it. I like the texture. In fact, the first time I served it, I didn't even tell my husband. I just put it on his plate under his spaghetti squash, <laughs> forcing people to be healthy. And he said, 
I like it, but did you get new noodles? They're a little bit different. He didn't even notice that it was like vegetable instead of um, pasta. Maybe he was just being nice, but it, it's, it's almost like angel hair pasta. It's really, really thin, and it's good. It still has a texture to it. It's not mushy. But once you make it, go to the end. Oh, spaghetti squash flavor. It doesn't really have a flavor. You have to add your flavor to it. Try that on Kindle and she noticed. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> um, yeah, so your spaghetti squash, it just tastes like, like pasta. It doesn't really have a flavor. Treat it the same way. Add your own flavor to it. That's why I use um, uh, garlic salt before I put it in the oven because that does add some flavor to it. Alright, this is probably done. And the spaghetti squash is probably done. And the bread is probably done. I can get a hold of one. Yep, done. Okay? <clears throat> it's going to be just a few minutes before I serve this, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse this pasta so that it doesn't stick together. And something that I forgot to mention yesterday, whenever we had hot soup, whenever you feed hot food to kids, the easiest way to cool things down without watering up your meal is frozen vegetables. So if you have a hot soup, throw some frozen corn in there, frozen peas, frozen carrots, frozen whatever you want instead of ice cubes because ice melts into water and it waters the soup down. My kids have, well, the youngest has problems getting soup to his mouth because it dribbles all over the place. So if you put in frozen food, then you don't have a melting problem, but it cools the fish down. Okay, pulling the spaghetti squash out. Just gonna put it right on top of there. And the bread is done. Look at that. Yummy, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna set this over here. I'm like cooking a feast and there are only three and a half people at my house. Somebody else is going to have to come over and eat all this. Okay. Last step is I'm going to shred this up a bit, fill the boat, put it back on broil for about two minutes, and it will be done. See how that shredded up? Sausage in there. Hi, Patty. And then you put Parmesan, not Parmesan, mozzarella cheese on top. This is looking good. I've actually never made this before. <laughs> I just kind of go on the internet and look for ideas of 
things to mix things up a little bit. And uh, I came across this boat style recipe. And so I just took the idea and made my own recipe and made this. All right, next one is the red sauce. So here's our white boat. Here's our red boat. Trying not to dump it over. <laughs> Add some sausage. And then you pop it back in for two minutes on boil. Just enough to melt the cheese and make it turn brown. And then of course we have all the rest of the sauce ready to go. So how you serve it is in a bowl. Oh, I forgot to add the red stuff. Hold on. I want these peppers cooked just a tiny bit. Sorry. Red and green. There we go. Okay. Now we can put it back. It's almost like a pizza in a spaghetti squash bowl. He doesn't like pizza in a bowl. Okay. Alright, while that's on broil for two minutes, I'm going to check the comments and then we push it back. Like you have a hollow leg, that's how I <laughs> You guys are funny. <laughs> I'm going to start putting some of this back in the refrigerator so it doesn't all melt out when it's hot in here. I'm going to start dishing up Teddy's food. Face, do you want spaghetti squash or do you want noodles? See, those stuck together a little bit. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Do you want pasta? Um, See how yeah. that's hot? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just making the baby real fast while that's in its two minutes of cooking. Not too hot. Perfect. You guys ready to see our big creation? Let's see what this is. Oh, 
Oh, it's so cheesy. You guys know you want to make this now. Look at that magic. I'm so excited. I can't wait to eat this. And then, of course, there you go. <laughs> so, I will see you guys tomorrow for white pizza. Everybody go get a pizza thing. And then we'll use your white sauce and we'll make our pizza. We're going to make chicken, bacon, ranch, avocado, green onion, red pepper, a little bit. It's going to be really good. So, thank you guys for being here. I'll see you tomorrow.